Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Brews with Brian, a craft beer review podcast. Now, craft beer is beer that is brewed in smaller breweries, not these big corporate machine breweries that we're all aware of. Craft beer is made with time and patience, and the people that brew this stuff care about the product they are delivering to us, the consumer, and I could not be more thankful. I got into craft beer probably two or three years ago, and it's totally changed my outlook on the beer world. There is indeed a light and a dark side to the beer world. The light side consisting of craft beer with its complexity and different styles. And the dark side consisting of your big box corporate beer that's on every football game commercial. But on today's episode, I'm reviewing Woot Stout 2019 from Stone Brewing Company, Love Child Number 9 from Boulevard Brewing Company, and Double Trouble Imperial IPA from Founders Brewing Company. And let's kick this show off. And first up on today's show, we have Woot Stout 2019. Uh, It comes from Stone Brewing Company out of Escondido, California. Woot Stout 2019 has an ABV of 11.5% and a rotating availability. The description from the website says, Ale brewed with pecans, wheat, and rye with one quarter aged in bourbon barrels. Brewed at Stone Brewing Company with Greg Coke, Drew Curtis, and Will Wheaton. This beer pours pitch black like motor oil. A thin tan ring of foam forms around the edge of the, of the glass. As you would expect from a high ABV beer, Aromas of bourbon, bit of rye, spiciness, and just a tiny bit of pecan when the beer was fully at room temperature. I I recommend warming this beer. Definitely, you don't want to drink this thing uh, extremely cold. Uh, You would miss out on a lot of these flavors. Tasting this beer, you get bourbon, a hint of pecan, and lots of malt sweetness. Some dark chocolate flavors and bitterness at the finish. This beer is very smooth and has a thick mouthfeel. Warming and spiciness at the finish. Very good carbonation. This is a good sipping and savoring imperial stout. Rather than a bomb of bourbon, chocolate, coffee notes, this has the bourbon flavor throughout, but with some other flavors that complement the bourbon nicely. Definitely something to pick up again. Uh, I will try it every year it comes out. I suggest you do the same. This beer would go great with something sweet, uh, like almost like chocolate chip cookies, I think would be perfect. But overall, I'm giving Woot Stout 2019 five stars. Next up on the show, we have Love Child number nine from Boulevard Brewing Company out of Kansas City, Missouri. Love Child number nine has an ABV of 9%, and it is no longer brewed. So if you missed out on this one, you missed out on a good one. The description from the website says Boulevard's Love Child series of wild ales are barrel aged with such boisterous cultures as Lactobacillus and Britannomyces. The flavor profile offers the traits of funk, sour, and fruit. The aroma is tart cherry with a slight earthiness and toasted oak. This beer pours a transparent burgundy brown color with a finger of fizzy khaki color head. Aromas of plum, dark cherries, toffee, and a big lactic sour bite. Tasting this beer, you get heavy plums with a little orange zest, dark cherries, and oak. Fruit comes through pretty prominent and then takes a hard dive into sour. Really big on the sour flavors. This thing is tart, and I mean tart. The mouthfeel is thin with a fizzy, bubbly texture. This is a solid sour that is indeed sour. It lives up to the name. Plums and dark cherries add a good note of fleshy fruit among the lactic sour lashing. This is probably the best sour wild ale I've ever had. 
which isn't saying a lot because I haven't had many of them, but I love this thing. I wish I'd have bought three or four bottles of this. But overall, I'm giving Love Child number nine four stars. last beer on today's show is Double Trouble Imperial IPA from Founders Brewing Company out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Double Trouble has an ABV of 9.4% and a rotating availability. The description from the website says, An Imperial IPA that was brewed to turn your world upside down. Hops will get you coming and going. Pungent aromatics up front paired with a malt-balanced backbone and a smooth, bitter finish. This beer pours a clear, innocent-looking light copper color with a nice big white head. The aroma is of fresh and complex hops, then a little pine smell that is not as resiny, but feels like right out of the ground. Really fresh. I also get some tangerines and cooked grapefruit. The malt is masked by the hops, but a nice sweetness peeks through. It's a very light caramel, which again would probably be a sledgehammer with most beers, but here barely provides balance. Tasting this beer, you get a gigantic hop flavor from the start. As in the aroma, it is fresh, non-resiny pine that leads the way. It is so smooth and so big, I had to do a double take. The orange provides fluidity and a nice citrus contrast. The malt comes on bigger at the taste, so although not even balanced by any means, it keeps this from tasting cheap, really. This beer has a huge mouthfeel for the style. This is nearly full-bodied with a gigantic bone dryness that isn't offensive due to the sweetness of the orange and the malt. Again, in any other beer, the drying here would be almost undrinkable, but with the offering, it goes down quite smoothly. This beer can't possibly be more drinkable. Everything about this ale screams smooth. This is the embodiment of how to make a big, gigantic beer drinkable without requiring baby sips to finish it. You could just kill this thing. It is fantastic. One of my favorite breweries, Founders. I love everything they produce, everything I ever had. So definitely try this one and try Founders. Anything they make, you will not be disappointed. But overall, I'm giving this beer four stars and that is it for this week's episode of brews with brian i reviewed woot stout 2019 from stone brewing company love child number nine from boulevard brewing company and double trouble imperial ipa from founders brewing company i want to thank everybody for listening the the show continues to grow each week and it means so much to me uh, you can check the show out on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, YouTube, and Spotify. Definitely try all three of these beers I reviewed this week, especially Love Child Number 9 if you can find it. It is a spectacular beer, the Sour Wild Ale series. It is just unbelievable how good this beer is. It is sour and it is tart, so you might have to share it with some buddies, but hey, you know, you can bring more people into the craft beer world with this. But that's going to be it, and check us out next week on another episode of Bruiser Brian, and we'll see you next time.